Food is a primary need on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This would be an unconditioned stimulus in Pavlov's experiment. In a freak accident, Caleb has had his ventromedial hypothalamus cut. He scores the beach looking for sandy pot tarts. Caleb is exhibiting the unconditional response of salivating. Now Caleb's sympathetic nervous system primes him for fight or flight as epinephrine and norepinephrine flood through his own body. Caleb flees. Dylan's motor cortex allows him to execute a precise pass. Caleb wishes to channel his anxiety through sublimation. He uses observational learning to play soccer. Caleb has previously had a failure to encode this information, and he finally is able to use it in his mental process. Drew uses operant conditioning to teach Caleb, rewarding him with positive regard. <laughs> this group of people wishes to have fun. Through groupthink, Caleb, Drew, and Dylan decide to assault innocent civilians on the beach. Caleb uses foot in the door by passing the ball to Dylan. And then, Dylan launches the ball. Katie experiences a PTSD attack of flashbacks of 16 years ago at this exact spot where she was assaulted by a ball. Drew and Caleb decide to use Sensomatic Desensitization to teach Katie that there is no need to be afraid of her phobia of soccer balls. They use virtual reality to expose Katie to the soccer ball without presenting her in any immediate danger. Using these steps, Katie is no longer afraid of soccer balls and has returned to playing soccer as normal. And then, the unthinkable happens. In an attempt to maintain social conformity, Dylan injects LSD and experiences a hallucination characterized by his dilated eyes. Dylan feels a rush of serotonin-like chemicals. There is no doubt that Dylan will die within the day.